Welcome back folks, this is lesson 114, so we're getting through them really well now. And what I want to do today is, uh, it's, a, it's a sketch I, I found in, in one of my paper, amongst my files and books and that, and this, I must have done this about 30 years ago. This is a sketch here that uh, I did on a piece of paper, uh, scrap paper it is, and I did it with a pen. And it was, it's a place called Coors Farm, and it's in Copse to Green, which is near Clitheroe, and in the Trough of Boland, beautiful countryside. But uh, the reason I, I, I was doing that is my uh, my wife's cousin, we stayed there with them, because they, 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 where I'm standing now is, is a, a barn conversion they did. I spent many years doing it, and, and it was beautiful in the end. And... Uh, and I enjoyed going down there. I thought the lighting on this one was particularly good. And I thought, oh, I must just sketch that out and I'll paint it when I get around to it. But I never got around to it. But now I have. But the lighting, as you can see, is it's sort of it's backlit on this one with with darks on the front of the picture and all that. And uh, I, I want to change the lighting because I want to give a di different viewpoint. I want to have the light coming from the right here. So this will be in sunshine and sunshine and sunshine. It'll be in a brighter picture, and uh, and we'll see how we go anyway. So that's that's what we've got. Our colours today are the usual ones I use quite a lot. That is raw sienna and ochre or ultramarine, ultramarine and we're burnt them together, and a weak mix of alizarin and crimson. So we've got our business here, we've got everything you need to do. So I'll move the colour system off. I'll move the sketch away. And I've, I've sketched it out again on there, as near as I can to, to what it was. But it doesn't really matter because it's that, that that's, that's what we've got. And it was, uh, the, the, I think, if I remember right, it's, it's time ago, I should take a photograph really. Uh, these were, were slate roofs, black, black roofs and all that. But I'm, I'm going to introduce them as, as uh, I think I'm, I'm going to alter to my colours. I'm going to pick these white buildings and, and slate roofs and see how we go. Artistic license, it's called. A bit of sky up here, <clears throat> clean water. Sunshine. Blue sky. Let's keep it flowing. As I come near the horizon, and introduce a touch of the weak alizarin in, into there first. So let's put some weak alizarin in the base of that sky. and get around the buildings. Down to the horizon there. And pull this up into the clouds. Now the light I've said is from the right today. So I'll we'll just I'll put some darks in there. That's too nice. I think we'll, we'll have some a bit of bad weather coming, shall we? There we go. 
right down. Let your brush do the work, don't you get involved. Take it around these clouds a bit like that. And the light is from the right, so any cloud shadow will be on the, the left hand side, won't it? So we'll just shadow some of these clouds here. Then the bottom's cut. And uh, it, that'll do for the sky because there's quite a bit going up down here, isn't there? Right. I don't know what it's like where you are just now, but, but it's harvest time and it's beautiful. The the, the corn is in it is a lovely colour, and I'm going to put some I want to put some corn fields in here, uh, just to lift the light. This is this is the, the, the raw sienna. Fields and fields of it that there is, it's beautiful. Some across here. That's the roof of a barn there, so keep off that. And it comes down here. And back across there. And this field as well is, is just the same. It's, they're, all, they're all covered in they all been utilised and full of corn, it's beautiful. Number 10 brush I'm using by the way. It's just a... Uh, it's, it's small enough to, to have a... to stop me fiddling. And uh, let me let me go on a bit. A bit but carrying plenty of plenty of liquid. Yes, I think I, in fact I like this. So I'm going to have more of this. I'm going to have some summer cross here like this. There's a bit of raw sienna in there just to bring this forward a bit. I'm fiddling there now, so I'll just dry that and see where we go from there. Right, I'll separate this field with some uh, some hedgerows. I like a few hedgerows. I'll use a bit smaller brush than that now. That's done its job I wanted it to do. This is number six about here. That's it, number six. That'll do. Right, across here, there'll be some depth. Not strong enough that. That's better. On the horizon there. A little bit of a tree there I'll sort it out later. That's, that's, that's separated the background at least, that, that's the one bit. And then there's another one just here. I put a bit of green in it, put some interest of green in that thing, a, a touch of cadmium yellow into there. Just to, 
green, greenify it. It's closer to us, so we're going to get some in indication of greens. So that was the colour I was doing for the back, and just had a touch of yellow into it. One across there. Now, I'm doing this, these roofs on these, these buildings are, are like a, a slate, so we've got, we've got to represent a slate colour. So uh, the two colours I've got there, the, the, the ultramarine and burnt umber, you should get a nice slate colour with that. Get right again, just tip a bit off there. But always test it before you before you commit yourself. I've got a touch of uh, Payne's grey in there. Let's darken it down even more because I want them, I want them to be to be quite quite grey. Let's see how we go now. We'll start across here. It's an old barn, this one. Had a funny, funny layer on it. Nice, this, this because it, where well, it, it's doing also, it's, it's making a nice contrast between this, and the and the cornfields. And and the if you can make your watercolors, I, I, I like to make them punchy. Now people think a lot of people think watercolors are wishy washy, and and they can make them wish, wishy washy. But uh, not with my brush. I like to sort of. Uh, Give me some colour. Let's get on this one. A bit different from Norfolk. This is in Norfolk with all, all pantar roofs and and stuff like that. But this is uh, this is, is different. Right, let's just this has got a roof on here. I need a little brush now to just uh, put those well I think before I do that I'll I'll put some of those the, there's some trees around you see so I'll put some of these trees in. Uh, there's, there's some around here, and I think there's some around here, and I think there's some across here as well. That's it. So let, let's put one or two trees in. That, that'll be a distant, uh, quite distant tree. So we'll pop that in. It'll not be in your face, this one. Don't look at that for a colour. Too, too nice, that. Darker than that. I keep testing it out on a, on a piece of paper. That'll do. Right, this one here. That's behind this farmhouse. Some 
left hand side, the right, some from the right, isn't it? So let's darken some of this de left hand side here a bit. On the underside. And put a trunk in there. Make sure it goes up through the tree. This branch has got something to hang on top there. <coughs> That'll do for that. Right, we have a tree in the front here as well. Let's have a. I'll get a bit bigger brush than that. And I don't like fiddling. Ah, uh, number 10, that'll do. Give us that number 10, let's see what happens with that. tree behind this, this one here but here's number six on this it's it's a bit uh, a bit delicate I want to mind the chimney it's nice to see some branches you know it uh, Coming through there as well. Right, I want some dark in there now. Remember where the light's coming from? Let's sort of frame that, that farmhouse, isn't it? And that chimney pot. There's another tree here. Let's test it, see what colour. Nice dark there. Out of trees in full summer like this, it's they're so so full and beautiful and there again I like them in winter when they're all bare and all the branches are showing it's good in fact I like trees can't be fairer than that can I that'll do well some dark on there now on the shadow side of course I'm wishing to get those chimney pots in. I've got to get those chimney pots in. The, 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 the building's white, but uh, the chimney pots are are a, a, a brick brick built. So let's put some chimney pot colour in, shall we? And that's a good complementary colour of green as well. I don't know them too they, they, These are like barns, I think. And, well, I'm, I don't know what they are because I, I just don't know. I'm still putting one or two windows in. That'll, that'll help, won't it? Using that French horse and the burnt up we've got for the sky. It's good, good for windows, that. Quite nice.
that double line down there. I might put a little winder in this one. I want a door in this, so I'm going to put a door in there. A nice bright colour, a nice bright red, shall we? So this this farm, it's called Cause Farm, and it's in the in the in the Copse de Green, in in the Trough of Borland. It's it's it, it's a lovely spot. It is. It really is. Let's just. They've moved from here now, it's a bit sad that because I enjoy going up and seeing them. There's another little window down here, I missed that one. That'll do with the windows. I want to put a door on one or two of these others here, really. They've got to get out, haven't they? Let's put a brown door in that one. Slip a door in here. Slip a bit of fence in here. It's not being q it's, it's a bit rickety. I'll put a fine brush on that. just here I must to keep the animals out of something some down this side as well keeping somebody out Shadows. The a good shadow colour at the ultramarine and burnt umber, but not too strong this time. Don't want to kill the kill the effect. That's in here. See the light's from the right, isn't it? So the shadows are going to be in on this end face of the the farmhouse. There was some other section here, it's set back. I 
the, the light coming out, that overhang of slates there will create a shadow across there. There'll be a shadow on this side here. My shadow on this end. And on the underside of there. And the underside of that one as well. Where do we go in here? Let's have a look. We've got a touch on the side of that chimney. Just there. This one here. That'll be in sunlight. We'll have a shadow down there with catching that. That'll be cast a shadow under there. Don't forget this one here because this side's in shade here. Side of that bungalow and shade under there. The the trees will cast a shadow, won't they? Across here. This one will cast a shadow down here like this. Put a reaching towards that one. That one will miss this because it's it's not far enough away. This one will cast a shadow. It's about here. I've got a line here. I've got a line here. I don't watch this on the sketches. I think there's another field. Another, another line. I'll put, I'll put another, another section of uh, hedgerow in there. That, I'll set that going a bit as well there, just here. Up to there. That was right there, that was right there, that was right there. And I'm, I'm tempted to put a swear the pop here around the front here, but I, I don't know whether you can you can make a right pig zero if if you get it wrong. See what see what it looks like to put a test paper. I'll prop. So you got to be very careful with the stuff. Only a piece of paper. Have a go. few strokes, a few strokes for stalks on them. And then of course they have black eyes, don't they? So if you can pick one two black eyes out, that'd be nice. Starting to fiddle now. Dog. 
in here. And there's a shadow down here. To, uh, this this hill, it's got a hill here. But I will want to, I want to put a cloud shadow. That'd be nice to get it across this corner here. If we can put that in, I'll get it right. It'll smarten up this corner a bit. Let's, let's put uh, across here. That'd be nice. Keep away from the edge of the cloud shadow because it softens. It's got to soften. You can't have hard edges on a cloud. I'll take. Oh, shall we? Have, oh, we some figures, don't we? I promise you some figures. I'll have one or two figures in. Let's see what we've got. Uh, oh, Fred, for a start. Fred likes to be in, in the picture all the time. Put Fred in. He'll not be very big because he's, he's in the distance here. Uh, where should we put him? You put him just here. He, he, he's got to be small, he's got to get through these doors. So I must get my glasses sorted out. Here's Fred. Doing his thing. Bring some trousers on. There he is. Don't know if he's fixing something or what, but it's, he's talking to his mate. Oh no, I talked to Mabel. Mabel likes a, a chat. Here's Mabel. The bright yellow top on, and matching jeans. Red hair, a real cracker she is. That's them. I don't like two figures. I like I like a third one somewhere. What can we have a third one doing? Not lying in the field. No, no, not that. It's uh, still just here. That's that. He'll have his overalls on. That'll be good. Some overalls on. He's a workman, this lad. Stood, stood uh, painting that painting that wall like they do. Oh, I'm fiddling, I'm fiddling, I know I'm fiddling, but uh, there's something I just want to do. It's, it's bothering me. There's a, it looks nothingness in front of this, so I just want to put in. Got to be that green left, so I think I'd like a bit of a bit of a edge just here. Some round here. It anchors the buildings a bit. It's, it, it looked a bit naff, it did. Bit of green around there. Do the world look good. A 
put the dark away from the sun. That's better. Birds. Do you want some birds? Oh, I'd like to give value for money, you know, give a few birds in there, or one bird or something. Now this is in, in inland, this is clear there are always um, cops to green around there. It's, 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 not, it's not near the sea. So I think we'll have a, we'll have a, a crow in, shall we? Uh, pick a dodgy bit of the sky if you can find one. That's one crow. Two crows. And three crores. There, that loop formation. And just a bit of. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it, and I'm doing. I'm messing about here, and I shouldn't. You should never mess about. And it's it's fiddling. It's not twiddling. Right, so I'll just show a touch of, if I can. Not dark enough. Indications of corn. They've been messing about cutting it and all this, and it's, it's left some stalks. Right, that's our little uh, Coors Farm at Cops de Green. I think we'll just close it down, the farm, and see, see what we've, we've got. And that's what you've got, folks. So that is lesson 114. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, uh, give us a like and a subscribe. We like that. And uh, until next time, I'll, I'll say, say goodbye. So it's goodbye folks, goodbye.